Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka that writer. And today, we're actually, uh, this is going to be a little bit off, more than likely, right? Uh, the numbers might be off. Everything might be off at this point. Uh, and that's because I did something stupid. I was in the process of editing the last few episodes of uh, the Women's My Rise, uh, and uh, I accidentally deleted episode number 13. And I didn't realize that until I got home and realized that the file was deleted. And when I went to upload today's episode, um, it was uh, just the uh, thumbnail that I had remaining. So if there's stuff that's out of order and if there's more commentary from the actual commentators than me, that's because uh, I already went through this section of the video of the story and the video already. And it just didn't make sense for me to re-record all this commentary and, you know, all that stuff, right? Right. So we'll try to, you know, interweave, intertwine some commentary in there, but we'll just let the game do its thing. Um, so we're going to go and do the Troy story, and then we're going to go to the Dom story once we get to the Dom story. So that way we kind of wrap up this arc. Uh, this has been a bit of a messy story, to say the least, <laughs> but, you know, it's had its interesting little moments, I think, but for the most part, it has been very dry. But let me know what y'all think about this brutality arc, if you will, uh, with Rhea Ripley here in uh, W2K24 My Rise. Uh, so, uh, as per usual, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy. And uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you get notifications around here, that sort of thing. At the time of recording this, we are at... Well, en route to a thousand subscribers, so that's quite exciting. I really want to get there at some point this year. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for housekeeping items. So again, more of just like the gameplay commentary. We might interject here and there as we need to, and that sort of thing. So let's get right to this guy over here. There she is, my favorite superstar. Sure, Troy. Sure. What now? Uh. First off, love this energy. Tough, no nonsense, brutal. It's working. Second, I guess. How would you feel if I said Minneapolis, money in the bank, you, Piper Niven, in the ring, making magic happen? His expression on his face doesn't match his tone. What's the catch? No catch. I just think we should reward a superstar who has earned a big opportunity with a big stage. I would agree. Then why are you sweating? Okay, fine. You want the truth? You terrify me. These days, whenever I'm within about 20 feet of you, I just naturally and instinctively clench. Look at what we turned into in the supernatural era. <laughs> so I thought maybe if you had a reason to like me, it would make it less likely that you'd take out all your inner turmoil on my outer face. Plus, you deserve it. Truly. So what do you think? Money in the bank? <laughs> I should have struck fear into your heart earlier. I want the match. Great. It'll be great. Cap is where it's at. So we're good, right? I mean, hey, that's not a bad slogan right there. Cap is where it's at. As long as you stop sniveling. I will try. Alrighty, turning the tables with Justine Janine, my rise reward. Hey, there she is. Uh, I, I want you to remember that I am just the messenger. With a whole thing full of desserts and Slim Jims in a basket. Of what message? That due to events outside of my control that had absolutely nothing to do with me. Sure. Your match here at Money in the Bank has been canceled. Don't hurt me. Why wouldn't I? I came here to break Piper Niven in a match that you personally offered me. If I'm here, I'm breaking someone, Troy. Again, not my fault. Extenuating circumstances. Since we're in her hometown of Minneapolis, Molly Holly wants to have a comeback match tonight. We couldn't say no and had to bump another match from the show. Love that. It's really when you think about it. A geographical Minneapolis problem. Which means if you're mad, it should only be at the Earth itself. I, I, I sort of mean that sarcastically, sort of not. <laughs> or Molly Holly. Yeah, sure, her too. Definitely not Troy. 
Just remember that in a situation like this, my hands are tied. We've barely had any matches at premium live events or feuds or anything. <laughs> oh, okay, Randy Orton's in our DMs. Heard he got bumped crazy the way some people cater to those way past their prime. Exactly. I demand to settle this with Molly in the ring, but management would just cave to fans and their dumb love of legends and find another way to keep me out of it. Typical. There are only so many seats at the table. In my experience, when someone refuses to leave, you've got to show them the door, legend or not. Well, this makes sense because, I don't know, Randy Orton uh, was the legend killer. That was the thing that really propelled them to superstardom today and that sort of thing. So uh, this would make sense as to why he would be giving some uh, uh, much-needed advice for Christina Bennett, right? Right. We've got a last minute change making a big night even bigger as Money in the Bank is also homecoming night here in Minneapolis for legend and three-time champion Molly Holly. Everyone loves a homecoming. Everyone loves a comeback. And for these fans to get both those things in one... What the hell? <laughs> we, just, we just hit Molly with the RKO. Oh, that's great. Can we get some help out here? Again, I know that I already played through this once already, technically, but it's it, it's cracking me up. <laughs> Wishing Molly Holly a speedy recovery after her injury before Money in the Bank. Randy Orton. Feeling much better already. Christina Bennett may have ruined my homecoming match, but rest assured, this isn't finished. No, but you are. <laughs> Justine Janine! Oh boy. Don't you look awfully proud of yourself. Totally. I would have been happy to do my fighting in the ring. It wasn't my decision to take that option away. And her spooky purple po parking lot. I don't know how you did things back at TBD, but here in WWE, we show a little respect to those men and women. Did we not away. do that as Hollywood bet it? Because uh, the last time I could recall, Justine Jadine, you kind of gave us some props earlier on in the story. And uh, Trish Stratus likes us too, and well, I mean, we took Lita's soul, but we, you know, <laughs> it was what it was. You're just saying that because you consider yourself one of them. Feel free to lick whoever's boots you like. Uh, well, she's kind of in charge of NXT now, so. Are you under the impression this attitude is going to help you? Justine, Janine, just. The only impression I'm under is that I deserve a seat at the table. And if Don't WWE talk to Roman management Reigns. <laughs> wants to kowtow to some decrepit dinosaur parading around like she still has a place in the ring, I'm happy to show that dinosaur the door. But are the dinosaurs purple, like the purple parking lot that we've got here? Because remember like a few episodes ago they were talking about purple dinosaurs and I'm just like, is Barney going to be coming up at any point? <laughs> I assure you. Molly Holly is very anxious to show you just how much of a place she still has in the ring. And despite my own history with her, so am I. Tell Molly, I'll happily ruin another one of her nights anytime she wants. I'll let her know, and we'll see. Molly's a lot tougher when she knows you're coming. Molly Holly obviously looking for payback here. Cap deserves whatever she's got coming to her. The RKO out of nowhere was a cheap shot. Oh, uh, you're just upset because it happened right next to you. My life flashed before my eyes, Corey. Uh, so yeah, like I mentioned, oh, like I mentioned, very little commentary during the match, so I may just mute the microphone at this point. So uh, we will be back. Uh, once we get things kind of uh, settled in with the match. On the attack from behind. Right after the neck. Can she score the pin? She gets a quick kick out there. Well, she thought she saw a chance to gain the fall, but obviously was mistaken. Point of the elbow nailed it. Evades the attack. Savage knee to the face. That attack probably reminded Molly of the hard-hitting Attitude Era matches she competed in. Oh, look at the kicks right to the midsection. Series of kicks in the corner. Foot to the midsection. Saw that one 
one coming took advantage. Molly Holly feeling the energy. The energy from this crowd. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Oh, that hurt to the spine. Picking the spot. Molly Holly is having problems here. Holly oh, has to gather the energy to turn the tables. Downward spiral. Will this be enough? one. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Tonight, I proved a point about who still has a place in WWE. Ever since I stepped foot here, I've been bombarded with endless praise for the so-called legends. We love them. We adore them. We hold banquets in their honor. Oh. But at some point, every banquet has to end. And yet, there are some legends here in WWE this is who so refuse painful. to get up from the table. They finished their meal, had some dessert, polished off a cup of coffee or two, even paid the bill. Look at how Do edgy she sounds. <laughs> others are waiting for their chance to sit down. Do they care that the staff wants to leave? No. They just sit there. Listen to this girl. This can't be the same one that we had Hollywood Bennett with earlier. Going on around them. Welp. These rotten relics don't even know. What the heck? Beth Phoenix couldn't stand any more of the disrespect. No kidding. It looks like Beth wants to settle this right now. Hey, hang on a second, guys. It seems like... Oh, man, they couldn't wait any longer. They're already tearing each other apart backstage. Taken down to the canvas. Ooh, slam! With authority. Answering back! Oh, and a knee to the face. All the way up. Sidewalk slam delivered. Forced the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Boom, a knee right to the face. God, right to the cranium. Oh my gosh! She avoids the attack completely. Ow! Oh! Ooh. Good defense. Quick sidestep by Beth. Oh, a deafening blow to the chest. Strong impact. Oh my god. Both wrists captured. No official leading here, as it looks like they've settled it themselves. Yeah, I just hope no one was seriously hurt. Maybe now Christina Bennett will think twice before insulting someone who is breaking down barriers before she can even break down solid food. Up close you smell like soup and old memories. <laughs> There she is. I will never let you get a seat at the table. I'd much prefer to throw you right through one. A tables match? You sure you can handle that? Does it need to be the early bird special or can you wait until nighttime? Raw, tomorrow. You're going to learn what makes us legends and you a jealous hater. You just gotta help stir in the pot, can you? That's like the story of our entire career, Rhea. Have, uh, uh, where have you been? I'm just fighting for what's mine. That wasn't a criticism. Just remember, you're facing someone who's forgotten more about wrestling than half the roster's ever known. Now that you've got her angry, make sure you finish the job. Not gonna be a problem. I'm gonna make her dream of retirement. Yeah. Show the glamour's on, it's time for her to get glamour gone. <laughs> Good one. And that's the plan. 
Beth Phoenix has left a real mark on this industry, and I wouldn't be surprised if she used a table to leave a real mark on Cap's face in tonight's tables match. Hey, if someone's not going to pass the torch, you're well within your rights to snuff it out. Looks like a battle between tradition and progress in the ring and here at the commentary table. This one is headed outside, guys. She's pulling out a table, adding some furniture into the mix here. And returning to the ring. Ow! Here's a combo of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Oh, costly error there. Nice takedown. She had it scouted. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Oh, propelled into the table. You can almost see the gears turning in their head as they set up the table. Oh, no. This isn't going to be good. Knockout victory. This one is over. Here is your winner. Alrighty, so social media. Christina Bennett, good work grabbing a seat at the table. Glad I could help you set down the path. Don't try to take credit for my girl knocking off yet another legend. Speaking of, you're kind of a legend now, Randy. Oh my god. We will be back once we get to uh, Dom's story and uh, close out this arc, thankfully. Alrighty, people, here we go. We finally made it. We had to go back through the freaking Shayna and Zoe arc. <laughs> <laughs> to get back to Dirty Dan. But here we go, people. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. We're about to see what shenanigans are about to ensue. So grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy. Let's go talk to Dirty Dan. Hey, I'm in a bit of trouble. Think you could help me out? Is it something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Besides, I'm no snitch. What's up? Rio was going to have my back in my match with Johnny Gargano, but mommy had some other business come up. Think you'd be able to be in my corner? Supporting you? I could, but I've also got a lot of respect for Rhea. I may call the shots around here, but Poppy doesn't cross boundaries like that. Wait, Don't what? Weird. This was <laughs> Rhea's idea. When did when did Poppy become our thing? Was this, when was this established? All right then. But you don't get it twisted. Just because I'm in your corner doesn't mean I'm going to be doing the heavy lifting in your match. I understand. You better. I'm not kidding about this. You roll with me, I'm going to make sure you don't embarrass us. Yes, sir. That's more like it. Alrighty, who doms dom? Alrighty, you're about to enter a story gate. Play will advance the story and you will be unable to return to play any optional storylines you may have not completed. As I've said, because I was dumb and deleted the uh, the previous iteration of this episode, uh, normally I would just be like, oh yeah, we need to finish everything, but we already finished everything. This is a different save. It is what it is. Let's continue. The commentary is about to be pretty gold, isn't it, for... Uh, Michael Cole. Again, we have the commentary just because I don't feel like I need to do as much commentary for this since again <laughs> God, they make it seem like, you know, Rhea and Dom split up. And it's like, this is just a one-time thing. <laughs> herself to be even more brutal than Rhea Ripley as of late. I'm not sure about that, but it looks like the captain will be master and commander for the evening. Alrighty, we'll roll with that. Uh, but here we go, people. Here we go. We're gonna be a manager tonight. Yay! <laughs> you can just tell how much I've enjoyed this storyline, and let alone having to re-record it. 
This could get very, very interesting, people. This could get very, very interesting. Oh my goodness. I gotta say, they did a really good job on Dom this year for 2K24. They really did. Although I think the boos can be a little bit louder, but here we go. I mean, let's hope so. Dom's got to do the work, so <laughs> he's got to put in the work. Dominic Mysterio can hold his own with anyone, but I wonder if he'll be lacking Here we go. by his side. As far as replacements go, you could do worse than the captain. Especially with the amount of intensity we've seen from Cap lately. I think Dominic is in good hands. Oh, no. It's like this was Rhea's idea, or was it? Or what if they're plotting against us? Oh, my bad. I pressed the wrong button. Ah, no, what button I need to press? Ah, no. There we go. Quickly reverses. Here comes the splash, and he hits the official. Of course he did. Looks like his manager is wasting no time with a steel chair. Good night. Gargano is finding himself at a disadvantage. Dominic is really <laughs> remaining the aggressor here. Well, no kidding. I mean, if we got a steel chair, this we're going to use it. High risk. Uh oh. What? Shown absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. I'm just saying this, but there, we could have Go not the gotten the official, inside. right? I do appreciate how it seems like the refs seem to, like, stay down a little longer, though. I will say that. It's a little detail, but here we are. He may be in a bad way here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Watch the rope break. Anything's a rope break in this game. Good job, Dirty Dan. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. Shh. We're trying to push through this arc here, okay? I'm in it for the story. Now that we got Dom involved, this could get a little bit more interesting. Right, right. Thought I was supposed to have a match against Dom. Didn't know I'd be facing Christina Bennett in that steel chair, too. It's not our fault you can't keep up. If Christina Bennett's going to be involved anyway, let's just make this official and give me a chance to even the score. Mixed tag. You think you two clowns can take her and my boy Dom out? Right. We'll play your game. After all, I've already taken care of you once before, Candace. See you out there. This is going to be like a double date gone haywire. Oh, dear God. I think Rhea Ripley would object to you saying that the captain and Dominic are on a double date. Wait, I yeah, I was about to say why. Yeah, like, why in the world would we be on a double date? Like, literally, Rhea and Dom are probably plotting against us. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, they've got more history with each other. We just got here. We're cosplaying as Rhea. Like, that's literally what we're here for, right? Right. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. We could do it. We can absolutely do it, people. Well, we already beat her once. Like, uh, what else do y'all need? Oh, we finally didn't get another move. We finally got hit by Candace with a move. Oh my goodness. We can do it, people. We can do it. We can do it. 
we're, we're trying to like speed run through this again because again i just yeah what i all righty here we go oh boy gargano and dom they're fighting okay perfect don't make this more than what it looks like literally we're just here to help like we're, we're when was any sort of chemistry anything like established they're making this more they're making this into something more and that's just no there's been no indication i'm not one to mince words or waste time getting to the point not when there's so much destruction and chaos to bring to WWE. I made an example out of my last victim. And I'll make an example of anyone who stands in my way. Of anyone who stands in Papi's way. Because she's the daddy I never had. Oh my god. <laughs> it was a whisper heard around the WWE Universe. Who does Dominic Mysterio and Poppy Christina Bennett have their sights on next? Kind of wondering if Rhea saw that. Popcorn. I I'm with LA Knight. Just get us all popcorn for this one. <laughs> you tried to stir that pot? I think we all are. Listen, we're sort of like, you know, we, we're kind of the perpetual pot stir around here. <laughs> Let's keep things moving along. Thanks for taking care of my business while I was gone. Didn't I always tell you Dom was something special? Glad you two finally got a chance to work together. He was a bit of a brat, but uh, I understand what you see in him. I hope you know better than to take stock in what people are saying online. I mean, honestly, I'm with everybody where I'm, I'm just going to grab the popcorn and watch what happens. <laughs> of course I do. Besides, if you did want to take him off my hands, you're still in charge around here. I'm not someone who gets mad over no. something as silly as petty jealousy. We, 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 we are not taking Dom off your hands. Good. Then I'll expect you to be out there for my match against Caden Carter tonight. And besides, like, these two are plotting against us. You, you know it. They're going to try to take back the power. Delighted. I'll bring the chaos, Poppy. You talk to Rhea? I didn't. We're good. She knows her place. I wouldn't believe Rhea if I were you. She's up to something. Exactly! And she's up to something with you, Dirty Dan. They've got more history together, and we've only known you for like a couple of weeks. <laughs> Hopefully she's not foolish enough to try to start something, but it never hurts to be more aware. I'll be on my guard. Thanks. You gotta be on your guard for Dirty Dan, too, Christina Bennett. Again, it's the history. It's the chemistry. Caden Carter has a tall order tonight, taking on the captain along with the returning Rhea Ripley at ringside. Caden is an egg, and she is in a battle with the frying pan and the fire. So, what? Byron, in this breakfast analogy of yours, what does that make Dominic Mysterio? Um, the fork? Sorry, I thought that went all the way through. I mean, we Take could, like, the add in frying pans as weapons, but here we are. Oh my god, get us back in this match, please. <laughs> get us back in the ring. And now okay, thank you. Ring. Again, we're speed running this. That's how, we, that's how we're doing this around here, because... Again, like, this whole storyline has just been like, we're, we're Miss Tough Guy. And it's like, I thought we were trying to go outside of our comfort zone. And I'm not getting that energy around here. This is just like a more cold, calculated version of our TBD era. So, TBD 2.0, just heal edition, I'm assuming. Yeah, we don't have time for any weapons, Rhea. We're good. 
Or at least I thought we were. Okay, now we're good. All right, grab. There we go. There we go. Irish whip into the corner. Bobby is certainly teaching Caden Carter a lesson she'll never forget. Officials separating them here. Vicious shot to the throat. What are we doing showboating? Like, come on, girl. It looks like Rhea Ripley's got some brass knuckles. Uh oh. Has no idea. No question as to whether this superstar will resort to cheating. What? Shouldn't that be a DQ? There we go. Maybe Rhea didn't like Dom getting so close to her ally. And now she's showing her what true brutality looks like. Repeated kicks to the so-called Poppy. Speaking of Dom, I don't think he likes seeing Mommy and Poppy fighting. I'm not sure if Dominic can stop Rhea Ripley if she has a score to settle here. Uh oh. Of stopping her. And Rhea's reclaiming her status as the alpha in this relationship. Oh! Took her head off with those brass knuckles. I knew it. I don't think we'll be seeing Dominic or Rhea in Cap's corner anytime soon. Well, this was a tenuous relationship from the start that was bound to blow up sooner than later. Right? Sally called it. She was like, this is going to blow up before anything else does. Well, that's okay. Like, did we actually want custody of Dom anyway? Like, we just met him, like, five minutes ago. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> they make it seem like we've known Dom all this time. And, like, this has only been, like, three weeks. Like, what is this? Like, of course Dom's gonna go back with Rhea. Like, they've got more chemistry and history. Like, we, we've we clearly established that Christina Bennett had zero interest in anything. She just understood why Rhea was into him, and I think that's reasonable. Sorry, Christina Bennett, you were a good poppy, but I've always been more of a mommy's boy. Like I said, I don't get mad. I get even. And we're done. So, how's it going? Didn't really expect to run into you here. Was kind of just planning on waiting for my flight, and listening to my book on tape. Hey, I love I'm, audiobooks, no, too. I haven't been in touch lately. <laughs> yep. That's definitely what's making this awkward. Not how mean and brutal you've been. But did you see what Rhea did to me? Can you believe that? Yes. I do follow the product, and yes. But did you really expect to steal Dom without any consequences? I didn't steal anyone. Oh you no. Have any oh idea no. What oh, it's like to shut have up. You trust betray you? Shut up, Christina you Bennett. Mean, kind of like you did with Psycho Sally. That's not my point. Or that rookie, Carly Prime. Not helping. Or literally anyone you've come into contact with recently. I know you've got these big time issues against WWE management, but you should really stop and look at what you've become. Uh -huh. Someone with striking fashion sense. <laughs> you know there are more colors than black, right? Black's not technically a color. Not my point. I know it's not. I'm attempting to defuse the situation. Yeah, <sighs> honestly, you could stand to defuse this whole situation. Brutality has a time and place, but maybe it's not all the time and everywhere. Yep. It's possible you have a point, but I also can't let Rhea's betrayal stand. Well, I guess you don't have to drop the brutality right away. After all, sometimes soul searching takes time. Yep. You might not find anything in that dark soul of yours until after you take care of Rhea Ripley. I don't think I will. You know, I'm noticing a theme here, by the way, how they keep bringing up souls, right? Like, we were taking souls in the supernatural arc. Uh, we were the heart and soul of TBD, essentially, in the ring, right? Being the captain or cap, if you will. And now we have, like, no soul right here as just Rhea Ripley ripoff brutality about it listen i just this ain't vibing for me okay i mean look at this look at this <laughs> like i i do like the idea of bringing out the brutality when we need to because that makes sense right but my god i mean look at this Mommy's oh boy solo tonight but poppy not letting her go without a fight can we drop poppy 
<laughs> Can we drop that? That, that never worked for me in the first place. Oh boy, here we go. More backstage drama. Again, this is going to be a little bit of a longer episode more than likely, but that's okay. If, if things are a little disjointed in terms of the editing, it is what it is. Because I know this has been a little bit of one of those, like, series where we have fewer episodes but longer episodes. But, I mean, come on. If you've played through it, like, there's so much dead air. Expected that one. That'll cost some teeth. In fact, maybe even most of this could be actually cut down. Who am I kidding? It adds more drama. Can we get some help back there, please? Alrighty, here we go. You don't get to... Alrighty, here we go. You don't get to just walk away from me, Rhea. Fine, I'll walk all over you then. Remember, I taught you how to be brutal in the first place. You're playing in my sandbox. Girl, you're talking to somebody that was putting people through flaming tables and jumping off of banisters and crap, like, back at TBD. Like, we can be brutal when we got to, or wait, maybe that's more reckless. Maybe that's uncontrolled brutality. There we go. Sandbox, your mistake is think your mis- Sandbox, your mistake is thinking this is still a game. I'm going to end you at Clash at the Castle. You can ask yourself if I'm brutal enough when you're leaving the arena in an ambulance. You're on. You're also- Well, that's a threat. <laughs> Breaking. William Regal has just made an ambulance match between Christina Bennett and Rhea Ripley official for Clash at the Castle. Let's do this, people. Let's go. Hey, I know I'm probably the last person you want to hear from. No kidding. But I'm sorry about everything. Maybe not the last person I want to hear from, but the last person I expected to hear from. I can't believe I let my emotions get the best of me like that. There's no excuse. I'm going to reach out to Carly, too. I hope you can forgive me. Are you going to beat the daylights out of Rhea? That's the plan. Do that, then we'll talk. That's fair. That is fair. Consider it done, Psycho Sally. Seriously, though, Psycho Sally is the side character that we didn't know that we needed until now. And, well, really throughout this whole thing. But you get the idea. Uh, definitely 10 out of 10 side character that I would totally like to do a little spin-off with, if possible. Here's the captain walking Here we in, go. To be walking out. Yeah, let's hope so, too, Michael Cole. Let's hope so. It's only an ambulance match. No big deal. We'll just do our entrance. I think that's reasonable, right? Right. One of these women is leaving this building in an ambulance. Woo! Is going to be known as the most ruthless, brutal competitor in WWE. So much brutality. Enjoy the violence, boys. This one's personal. Grab the snacks, everybody. Grab the popcorn. Here we go! Is an ambulance match. There are no pinfalls, submissions, disqualifications, or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent into the ambulance by any means necessary. After closing both doors, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner! Now, let the match begin! 
Here we go, people. Here we go. The ambulance is front and center. Defeat Rhea Ripley. Great job. Oh, we got a shovel. Beautiful. <laughs> we just, like, throw it at her. Okay, let's remove the... There we go. Here we go. Oh. Hey, we're just trying to get, you know, as much damage on Rhea as much as possible, okay? Where are the tables at? Maybe it's on another part of the ring. I don't know. But either way around, uh, yeah, again, my apologies for uh, just completely whiffing uh, this recording. But that's okay. You know what? That's that's all good. We're, we're, we've got it done. And we're, we're still trying, and that's what counts. We, we made it work. Because I was like, this is too much of a pivotal plot point to just be like, oh, yeah, we just went through a couple of side stories. No big deal. Right? Right. This is a pivotal plot point in the story. Otherwise, I wouldn't have spent, like, two hours just, you know, going through the story mode again to try to get to this point. And that was, like, even skipping over the side missions. Here we go. Oh. Good chance for her to gain her wits about her. Oh no. Vicious Insiguri. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. So yeah, uh this is not our actual first ambulance match, but it's our, our character's first ambulance match. She's bringing the pressure on now. She's fighting. Because, I mean, I don't think they had them in TBD or anything like that. I also would like to know if Christina Bennett went to other independent promotions um, before WWE. I think that would be interesting. Getting an up close and personal view of their ride out of this arena. All right, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. This is a hell of a struggle. Just try to close one we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. I've noticed that that side's easier than this side. See, look at this, look at this. Oh! Oh, and Rhea's got the resiliency. Oh, boy. Notice the Rhea chance, by the way. Maybe we just are like that terrible. I don't know. Here we go. Rhea's still got that resiliency, so I'm a little nervous, people. I'm a little nervous. There we go. Okay, okay. See? We're trying, Michael Cole. We're trying. Miraculous. Firm control. What a poop. Rhea Ripley can kill with a smile and wound with her eyes. Able to prevent Rhea's attack. Here we go. Medical attention might be needed after that move, and luckily there's an ambulance nearby. Right. Ambulance doors are open. Gotta wake up now before it's too late. We're just gonna keep going, people. We're gonna keep going. Trying to flip one door is shot. We could be Oh boy. Here 
We're slipping, we're slipping, we're slipping, we're slipping. Forcing their way out of the ambulance. No, why are we going back inside the ring? Oh, see, listen to the people. They're even mad about this. You know what? Get out here with the baseball bat. Come on. This is my brutality, Rhea. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Nope, not. Alrighty, here we go. Got another opening for a finisher, which will do a lot of damage. I mean, the people want to see it one more time, but we don't have another finisher all built up. Head first into the ambulance appears to be completely defenseless right now. Got Rhea's got that resiliency. Oh boy. Look at the struggle just to shut the door shut. Needs one more. This is going to be the real thing that gets us. Yep, there it is. I knew it. Nope. Sorry, Michael Cole. Hate to disappoint you, but here we are. Discouraging results for Ripley right here. Ripley needs to be resourceful. Find an opening. As do we. I think we got an opening right here. Getting dragged to the edge of the ambulance. You know what matchup I'm actually surprised we haven't seen yet? The casket match. That would have been perfect for the supernatural thing with the manifestation. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my god, we did it. It took us a while to get back to this point. It wasn't easy, but they not only survived this ambulance match, they thrived in it. That we did. We were thriving. We have thrived, people. We we have survived and thrived this entire little last bit here, not once but twice over here. So let's just go ahead and wrap things up. But a big congratulations to Christina Bennett for surviving the ambulance match. I'm so proud of her. I'm so so proud of her. Who's Dom's Dom? So we got the This Is Why Brutality entrance and 25 points. So this looks a little bit different again because we had to uh, go back and redo the story mode a little bit. But let's go ahead and get to the social media. So after their epic clash at the castle is the biggest menace on Raw changing her colors. What's next for Christina Bennett? So we have turned it back into a good guy. So go team. Oh boy. Dom, why are you in our DMs? Look, look at this man. Look at this man over here. What is this? Hey, maybe don't let Rhea know I reached out to you, but if you ever need a plus one, I'm around. That could be that could mean a few different things, Dirty Dan. No. Please no. <laughs> Just give us a fresh start at this point. So yeah, we will be picking up right where we left off uh, in the next episode in the proper timeline. <laughs> Where we will be uh, finishing out the McFoley mission, and then we will be having a chit chat with Mr. Regal over here. So, again, thank you all so much for watching. Thanks so much for understanding and being patient, especially because we did have to re record this episode. Uh, and honestly, this was still a fun little stretch to, you know, go back through and just have a little bit of a laugh with along the way. Uh, either way around, thank goodness we are done with the Brutality Bennett era because that just, that ain't it for us, y'all. That, 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 I don't know about y'all, but that was not it for me. Uh, again, now that we went through the three faces of Christina Bennett, maybe four if we count TBD Bennett, uh, let me know what your favorite iteration has been of hers thus far uh, and where you think this is all going to go. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get notifications around here and that sort of thing. So thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next one.